continue our Heart of the Valley focus on diabetes. It's a serious health concern in the Valley, one that can be prevented. And diet and exercise are key to fighting this disease that affects so many here at home. Joining us is registered dietitian Maida Olivares with South Texas Health System Clinics. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, Myra brought us this spread to show us some healthy eating options. What are we looking at here? Okay, so here we have some options for healthy snacks. So we can have something like applesauce with some almonds and pairing that up. And we also have some rice cakes. We can have that with peanut butter or some avocados. And also Lots we of have fruits a lot of fruit. And um, nuts. And I nuts. They're this really combination. good. It, they're really good for our health. Raspberries and almonds, blueberries and walnuts, strawberries and walnuts. You can, you can do a lot of things with these kinds of foods, carrots and hummus, you can dip them, it's a great snack. Great snack, okay, yeah. well how and what foods impact people with diabetes or those who are at risk of getting diabetes? Okay, so the types of foods that can affect people with diabetes or folks that are at risk is, um, you know, sugar sweetened beverages, sodas, um, unfortunately I have to say it, Starbucks, those kinds of drinks, um, you know, juices and so sweet teas fried fatty foods you know a lot deep of the foods fried, and drinks that we like you know, yes the tacos the burgers unfortunately all with moderation mm -hmm. um not having enough fruits and vegetables and whole grains in your diet um and also fiber you need to have fiber in your diet and unfortunately a lot of people don't have that so so we need to be eating more of these yes and less of that yes all right exactly so the body turns carbs into sugar and extra sugar is not good for us it's mm -hmm. not good for diabetes is there anything considered as a healthy sugar Yes, there is. So healthy sugars, it comes from our fruits, it comes from our vegetables, it can also come from our whole grain products and our nuts and our seeds. So our body can convert that because fruits have fructose. Mm -hmm. So then that is something that is natural so for So the natural fruits. sugars are yes. what's good for us. Yes, so anything like added sugars that come from products that, you know, like juices or anything that's packaged and it says on the f nutrition fact label, something like that, added sugars, those are not considered healthy. So stay away from those as much as possible. Yes. And okay. it's important to read the nutrition fact label. Okay, at least that. just limit them, I should say. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, there's a lot of diets out there. You've got mm -hmm. the Mediterranean diet, high protein diet, yes. the keto diet. So we've heard a lot about the keto diet. It's specific for type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about this. Okay, so the keto diet was actually developed for people who suffer from epilepsy. And it's a low carbohydrate, high fat diet, and it can help people with diabetes. However, because it's very limited in, in carbohydrates, it's around maybe 50 grams of carbohydrates, that's too low. And even people with diabetes, they need to consume carbohydrates, which, you know, they, they get metabolized to glucose, which is our main source of energy for our bodies. So it's not recommended to limit carbohydrates so totally. drastically. Yeah, so yes. we need some carbs. Yes, we do. No so matter what. learning to count our carbohydrates is very important and something that is recommended. And if you were to go with one type of diet like that, I would recommend the Mediterranean diet, which is more sustainable. Right. And it has more variety. It has nuts. You and can fruits. have your legumes, your beans, mm -hmm. your seeds. So you can have variety fish. So. so, what resources are available to help people? So, we have a clinic that is opening soon um, for South Texas Health Systems Clinics. It's called Nutritional Health and Wellness. And so, I will be there as the registered dietitian helping with the Valley's needs. And there's also lots of resources. CDC has resources. They have, um, you know, booklets available. The WHO, they also have 
those kinds of things available. The American Diabetes Association, they have a lot of resources And too. do you offer courses or classes to teach people what um, they should be eating? I can offer uh, group counseling. Okay. So there's there's also that available. Um, there's also resources like the food bank for people who may have some kind of food insecurity. Mm -hmm. So resources like that can be helpful. All right. Well, we thank you so much for joining us and sharing these healthy eating habits, these healthy eating options. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. And again, a healthy diet and exercise are crucial in fighting diabetes, but it all starts with knowing your blood sugar levels and getting tested. We've teamed up with HEB and South Texas Health System to get you free glucose screenings all month long. Tomorrow, you can go to any of these HEB locations in the Mid-Valley from 8 a.m. to noon. For the most accurate reading, it's best to go on an empty stomach. You can find the full schedule on our website, krgv.com. Just click on the Heart of the Valley button on our homepage. It's also available on the KRGV News app.